Breaking news out of Otay Mesa tonight where a gas leak forced a half dozen families from their homes and even more were told to shelter in place. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Chiquetta. The leak was reported around 8.15 tonight on Riviera Point Street near Del Sol Boulevard. News 8's Amanda Shotsky is live with the efforts to keep everyone safe and get that break fixed. Amanda. Well, the good news is we have learned that the gas line has been turned off. So that is the good news here. Fire crews have left the scene at this point, but you can see there's still a whole lot of activity going on here in this community. There's been a lot of drilling and it was a very frustrating night for people who were out of their home with their pets and kids all because of this gas leak and neighbors say they first started noticing a foul odor. We just started noticing the smell. They did start coming and telling us to evacuate, to get out, you know, get out of the uh, zone of uh, odor. But like I said, it started to permeate and get bigger. It happened around 8.15 tonight in the 1200 block of Riviera Point Street. Crews were working on a water line and accidentally hit a two-inch natural gas line. That's when San Diego fire crews and SDG&E were called in to examine the damage. Our crews used gas detectors and found significant gas levels in the neighborhood. So initially we have six structures completely evacuated, residential structures, and we have 11 structures sheltered in place. Those evacuated had to sit outside with their families and pets while crews moved in and shut down the street. Fire officials made the call to evacuate because of the potential risk of an explosion or fire. The utility was shut off in all of the homes as a safety precaution. And again, that gas leak has been uh, shut off, but crews are still working to fix the line here. Now we know that fire crews, they initially went from door to door to make sure each house was safe before allowing people to go back into their homes. So those evacuations have been lifted. That is the good news here for the people living in this community. Unfortunately, there's still a lot of activity. It's still pretty loud, still unclear how long these crews will be here tonight. Back to you. All right, Amanda, thank you.